Okay, so uh, welcome to the next video for COP3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. Uh, my name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... I'm Tom Blount, I'm another lecturer on the course. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've got a, a, a few games to look at in, in this batch. Uh, Tom, do you want to just say a little bit about what we asked the students to do? Absolutely. So for this coursework, we asked the students to make a small game prototype that had an interesting core dynamic and a way of tutorializing that to the player. Brilliant. Okay. Um, and I think our first game um, for this one is called Prison Escape. Yep. So let's have a look. So Tom's, uh, Tom's playing this one. Okay. So we've got a nice, nice sort of thematic title screen here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting use of a. So I, I don't know how you feel about the use of actual photos. It, it puts um, me in mind of those sort of um, retro '90s games with uh, yeah, like exactly. full video cutscenes. Anyway, yeah, that kind of uh, okay. interactive movies. Oh, and then a real change slight, of pace for the slight game contrast itself. there to the, to yeah. the attribute. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've got okay. preferred controls um, WASD and use the mouse um, to look around. Do you think there's there's unpreferred, unpreferred controls? Yeah, there's right oh, arrow. Oh, down arrow. Right. Yeah, okay. okay, fine. So That's it's this. interesting that they're yeah. written sort of there and on the sides here. Yeah. So I was going to say, it sort of encourages you to turn the mouse to actually see the controls to learn how the camera works, but it sort of undermines yes. that by having it there. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, not too bad. Okay, so if we go forwards. Okay. Whoop. So the other thing is the controls feel a little bit interesting. Oh. Aha. Okay. What so, was that? so maybe just, I so... shouldn't do that. Uh, so you've activated it. Okay. Yeah. So we're in prison and we're escaping from prison, and that's one of the guards. So they have a little sort of cutscene sort of, I don't know what you call it, like a scripted event where another prisoner gets caught by the guards so that we learn that the guards are bad. Right. And then we get to the end, level complete, next level. Oh, the guards come in. Uh, run, okay. run, 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 run. <laughs> so yeah, the, the controls are a little bit odd in that it feels like they're doing this sort of by applying forces to the character because you start accelerating very slowly and then you, oh, if I okay. let go you sort of slowly glide to a halt as well so it yeah. feels it's, it doesn't feel very responsive which is a bit worrying in the sort of very precise yes. stealth game yes okay press... but otherwise we'll press space and right shift when in front of stairs to climb up and down okay okay so, so... This, this to me is a really weird perspective because it feels like I'm going to walk forwards onto that level in front of me just here. Yes. But no, we're under it. Oh, wow. Okay. No, I still did. I didn't I didn't realize that at all. Yeah. Um, maybe they should have used a, do you think a different color for the lower level would have helped? Yeah, I don't know. Or well, the, the other thing is they don't really make a huge amount of use of this later in the game. So if I try and go up these stairs. Oh, the other thing is the stairs are quite buggy as well. So if I go up... Oh, okay. There's an even chance that I'll fall yeah. straight back down them. Yeah. But okay, so All there right. we go. Let's do that. Okay, a lot going on here. So lots of different levels. You've got that outside level. Oh, there's one coming. That's all right. There oh, go. okay. Ah. So again, <laughs> if, speaking of sort of like consistency of graphics and stuff, it's kind of interesting that all of the other levels or most of the other levels are in sort of you know just a black void, and this one we do yes. have like an outside. Yes. Uh, you've not gone up. You've not gone up a level or anything, have you? To kind of, because that no. you, you know you might use that to indicate that you're getting towards the end of a section or something. You're about to escape the prison. So they do actually have a a sort of section of that after this that we'll probably see but in a minute. But then but we're then back, back in here. In... And yeah, I don't. You're back inside again. I don't okay. mind this sort of floating in the sort of void. It kind of puts you in no, mind no, of I... you know a slightly oppressive prison. But the fact well, that it it's... switches between them is a bit odd. Whoop. So, so the problem is basically that that you read you read the background as if it's trying to it's, it's part of the information design. It's trying to tell you something, and it doesn't seem to tell you anything. So there is a nice little bit of audio there. Um, so when you get caught, there's big sort of siren buzzer alarm sort of saying you've been caught, which is kind of nice. But there, there isn't much other audio in this either, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. I mean, otherwise the sort of classic stealth mechanics. You've got a, a, a sort of a cone. Uh, it's a, quite a short cone. Yeah, and it also does clip through walls a little bit. So if you're around a corner, they can still see you. Okay. I wonder if that's why it's a short cane. 
I, I wonder if what they discovered was that they couldn't actually get the cone to clip properly around the corners. So they just made and it by, quite short, yeah. By making it short, it sort of solved the problem. So this is an interesting thing that we'll probably get yeah. to when we're talking about the level design. Like this dead end. Like, yeah. All that sort of really does is serve to annoy the player. But anyway, speaking of the mark scheme, yes. should we... Uh, Let's start yeah, from the I top. So, I mean, you were talking through. about the information design a second ago, and I really yeah, interrupted. Yeah, so, but... so let, let's, let's talk about the presentation then. So, yeah, that's that's information design and also the graphics and the audio. Um, so, so the graphics themselves are, you know, a bit simple, but small. Oh, there we yeah, go. Demonstrating right, what I was saying a yeah, moment ago there. Exactly. So, yeah. They're a little bit simple, but it's not the end of the world. It's you know, it's yeah, only a small prototype fine. at the end. They're yeah, mostly they're... consistent. Apart Other from the than sort of... the, the drop, the, the 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 intro screen was a bit um was a bit out of whack, wasn't it? Yeah, well, and the sort of like inside, outside, inside, outside levels. Yes. Uh, but you know, there's some they they played around with some lighting to try and get a bit more interest going on. Yeah, and it's clear where their little vision cones are. So even the, though they do clip through walls, at least it's obvious yeah. that they're doing that. Like That's weirdly, right. that would have been more frustrating if we couldn't tell that was happening. Yes, it would have been. Yeah. So okay. So um, if we um, if we kind of look at the the scheme, if we said sort of a so a sort of satisfactory level would be key information is shown, consistent graphics, and some audio. Um, so I think it it doesn't feel a million miles away from there. Yeah. Um, you know, so you you mentioned a moment ago sort of like the use of the textures to sort of showcase the information of how far we were getting through the prison. I just wanted to draw yeah. your attention to this bit. So we we have this sort of little mid level pacing sort of break yeah where somebody says aha you've made it halfway, halfway keep going. out which okay. so, like that, that's kind of a nice little touch yeah yeah i like that yeah so that, that's nice kind of uh just to, just to keep you going um so yeah so if we look at this so key information is shown i i i think it yeah it does. i, I mean you could argue that it is like um, the really key information is where the guards are looking and whether they can see you and that is definitely yeah. readily available yeah. Um, I think uh, I think the the next one up would be key information is shown clearly, and I do wonder whether and there's there's not quite enough going on to kind of quite get get so up there. So th this is also kind of a perfect example of that, and it sort of overlaps a little bit with the level design. But yeah. this is really not clear what's going on. So we've got three three different levels, and I'm really yes. struggling to tell which one is which and where, where even the guards oh. are in relation to me. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's. That's really that's really tricky. Oh, okay, I see now. Yeah, I couldn't even see the second level to be honest. Um, so the graphics are consistent, um, and um, good would be appropriate use of audio, and satisfactory would be some audio. Um, there is some audio, but not an awful lot. Yeah, it's just that buzzer alarm when I get caught every um, time. Which. Yeah, so I so I think you 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 might argue it's satisfactory, or you you might kind of just put it slightly. Um, slightly below that, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree. Maybe put it halfway to a pass. Um, um, okay. Um, so, although, although having said that, like you said, they've they've done some stuff. I, I kind of I'm I'm kind of feeling that because of the information, you know, that it's very clear. They're very clear with the cones. Um, And the graphics are, are kind of they're simple but fairly appealing. So let's let's uh, if we set a satisfactory for that, and then we can uh, we yeah, can okay. uh, we can go on. So okay. So what about the gameplay? So this is kind of um, the mechanics, the controls, and whether or not there's meaningful play. So the controls, like I said before, are a little bit annoying because of this whole sort of acceleration deceleration issue you've got which doesn't, yeah. like, particularly in a situation where you're, you know, waiting to pick your moment and there's a guard coming towards you and then you sort of need to sprint across to the other bit, having that little yes. delay is really frustrating. Yeah. But, but it, I mean, it's it's sort of tolerable. I can use it. It's just, it doesn't feel great. Uh, like that. So, so what are the mechanics there here? So you've got... So mechanics, you, you've got enemies that can see you and... I mean, and... to an extent, that's it. Uh, you've got up yeah, and down stairs, got, but that's and you've got navigating around the, the the obstacles. So you've got obstacles and enemies that can see you, and enemy. I oh. guess the enemies patrol as well. That's another feature of it. Yeah. So, I mean, so again, satisfactory would be a set of mechanics. Um, 
uh, and it would be usable controls and some meaningful play. Um, so it feels to me that the mechanics are quite simple. They, they, um, yeah. So a pass would be few or inconsistent mechanics, and I'm actually wondering whether the mechanics are more at that level. Um, the controls, so pass is challenging controls. Would you say they're challenging, or do you think they're usable? Uh, I would say maybe between the two. Okay. Like the... um, and then and then and then their question is: Is there you know, leading to meaningful play? Um, so there is actually, you know, I think you can. You you are clearly playing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think perhaps it's sort of halfway between the pass and the satisfactory for for gameplay. So again, this is another interesting sort of level design bit. Like there's just a guy hiding around this corner. Yes, and does he do anything if you approach him? Uh, I suspect not. I think he'll just catch me. Okay. If... You go into the yeah, that's that's odd. But it's interesting because that that is definitely a designed choice. Yes. Um, so uh, I wonder whether they're, what they're trying to do is just to fill up the space within the block. It almost looks like they they they're, they're frightened of having negative space, you know. Yeah, perhaps because part of the thing is, you know, if like because we've got such an overview of the map. There's no way I could sort of like get lost down there. I can clearly see it's a dead oh. end. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway. it's a curious choice. So, did we? Where did we settle on for the mechanics? Do we say? Um, so, I, so I think I think I think I think the what we said is sort of um, maybe not quite as satisfactory. So maybe the halfway between. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's I think that's because you you've got kind of um, with the controls as well. I, I don't think the controls are challenging, but they're not. You know, they're not particularly sort of intuitive or fluid or anything. So I think halfway between the two is reasonable. Okay. Um, what about bugs? So we've obviously got the, the thing where you can see through the uh, walls. Like this bit, yes. Um, yeah, just like that bit. Uh, um, but otherwise, it so seems to be like it plays reasonably... The stairs are a little bit um, fickle. Like, often, you yeah. when you go up a stair, you'll sort of bounce up and down between them a little bit, which... Again, sort of like the controls, it's when you're in a little tense chase with a guard, you, you don't want to be sort of glitching through the terrain. Yeah. So, okay, so a, a pass is, um, game is playable, but is either simple or there are frequent serious bugs. I don't think, so I don't we're, think... I think we're above that. Yeah, so satisfactory is game is playable and is reasonably complex, but there are infrequent serious bugs and or frequent minor bugs. How so... serious do we think the bug is, I guess, is the... <sighs> yeah, I... I... I mean, I I would say it's because of the way they've mitigated it by making the cones really short. It, it actually makes it a minor bug. Um, so I I I don't think that, I don't think we count it as a serious bug. I, what about complexity though? Um, so, I mean, it's not the most complex game I've ever seen. But in terms of again, small prototype that showcases a set of mechanics, yeah. it's I think it's doing all right. Obviously, it'd be nice if they'd done like a little bit more with it because. Yeah. The problem yes. is they don't have a set of mechanics that interact together. Okay, so I think probably on balance, uh, it's sort of at the satisfactory. Does that sound about right to you? Yeah, that's. I think that's about right. Okay. So, all right. So the next step um, is okay. the brief, which is oh, oh no, I'm trapped. Uh, sort of what what we asked them to do and how well they did that. So the first thing on that was level design. So. Yeah, pacing. so we're looking for, uh, yeah, pacing, uh, clear goals and risks, and a kind of a set level design that kind of you know works with the mechanics of the game. Um, so, what do you think? Uh, so, pacing wise, I mean, the levels are definitely getting harder, although that's mostly achieved through just making them bigger and adding more guards. Again, but like we were saying about the mechanics, the mechanics don't sort of go increasing complexity at all. But there is still a nice sense of pacing. No. There's that little moment in the middle that sort of gives you a little chance to recuperate and say you're halfway there keep going that kind of thing which which i think is kind of nice uh goals risks and reward there aren't yeah. a huge amount of uh risks and rewards like there are technically a couple of different paths that you can take but fundamentally they're all basically the um, same which is just just avoid yeah, the guns. like and, for example and, here and again, i could have gone all the way around this way but what but why would i yeah and again, I think this is partly because of that problem with the uh, lack of mechanics, because there's not enough mechanics to give you those varied paths, right? Yeah. 
go, go, go. Okay, so um, a, a satisfactory would be uh, a sensible level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics with an attempt at pacing and some gold risk rewards. Um, do you think it quite gets there? Uh, sorry, I, I was distracted by by my little prisoner friend getting caught. Um, yes, I I mean it's getting there. Um, the, the, again, the problem is is the mechanics. There's just there's, yeah, there's not enough mechanics to demonstrate. Like, it, I um, think it's lacking on the gold frisks and rewards. Like the level design itself is sensible with the mechanics they've got, and you can definitely yeah. see that they've tried to put some thought into it. But yeah. also things like the um, the sort of the multi floor levels are a bit feel a bit redundant there doesn't seem to be any point to them other than adding it the making it difficult to see and that's not really adding complexity yeah so between okay, a pass so, and satisfactory maybe yeah i think that's probably right i think kind of um i wouldn't say it's it's actually poorly balanced um or paced um but i think there is a lack of clarity of the goals risk and rewards and i also think that um, although it does demonstrate the mechanics, there just aren't enough mechanics for it to demonstrate fully. So, so between the two, I think is is a, is reasonable. Um, so the the other bit of this was the tutorial. And handily, yeah. I'm back at the start now, so we can have a look at that. And it it is just the yeah, it's just the sort of the actual controls written on. Well, no, there's the actual controls written on the walls in a slightly odd way. Yeah. So I've got to twist the camera to look at some of them. But there is this little do, the little yeah, bit they where try to demonstrate yeah. it. Yes, yeah, so they do that, and there's also that little bit in the middle when they say you're halfway through. So I, th I think they've kind of, you know, they've made an attempt to to put that information in the in the game and integrate it. Um, so the problem here is that, uh, say, satisfactory would be a partly integrated tutorial that communicates some goals, risks, rewards, level design, and that introduces most information and mechanics in a logical way. And, the problem and again, is, it's ju it's just that first step where you see, you know, the other prisoner get caught by the guard, and then that's it. Yeah. You know, a hundred percent of the mechanic, yeah. oh, apart from the stairs, I guess. But yeah, that's that's and, and basically it, just an yeah. extension to the movement controls. Just, just, just not enough complexity, I think. Um, so a pass would be a level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics, but poorly balanced or paced, and with a lack of clarity. Oh, sorry, that's the that's the that's level, level design. design. So a tutorial. Uh, communicate some goals, risk, rewards, and it introduces some information and mechanics in a logical way. Um, so it 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 feels like it's maybe at a pass level, maybe a little higher, but but probably a pass. Yeah, I I think I'd agree with that. It, yeah, there's there's just not enough to tutorialize, unfortunately. Although they've got an extensive range of levels, it's just it's the same mechanic repeated over and over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, okay so. Um, the core dynamic. Um, so what did so, they say uh, that core dynamic was for this? So we asked each of the students to provide a, a little paragraph telling us what they thought the core dynamic of their game was and how the mechanics supported it. And what did they say for this? So they said it's survival, uh, because the aim of our game is to escape the prison by getting from the start of each level to the end. And the part that makes this survival is the fact you must traverse each level whilst avoiding the guards. I... Um, I would disagree with their interpretation of what their core dynamic is. I would not say this is survival. Yes, I think so. I can see why maybe they no. said that. But yeah, yeah. But there's just a, a lack of impetus or a lack of kind of a lack of peril, really. Well, also, um, so survival, survival, survival is much. I, I, I seem to say this a lot in uh, these videos. To me, survival at least is more about, you know, there, there's not necessarily a win condition. It's all about surviving for longer than yes. you did the last time whereas this there's you know a set of levels and you get to the end and you win i, I like i would yeah. put this much more along the i guess escape and evade perhaps or even race to the end if you wanted to sort of yeah you know, i make... i mean I, I think it's escape and evade and, and they they could have made it race to the end by putting in some stuff around a timer or something else you know that could have worked but as um, it is if... like you are evading yeah. all of these guards that feels a much yeah. clearer oh, yeah. yeah a much clearer sort of dynamic to me so a survival. I mean, if they'd had a if they'd had a thing where you know you were making your way up the prison levels as they flooded or something, you know that's survival, right? Um, yeah, or even uh, I don't know, sort of an open-ended level where the guards are constantly converging on you, or like just yeah, one yes. really big level where you've got to evade the guards for as long as possible, but eventually you get caught. Yeah, but because you're because you're progressing, I yes, I think it's I think uh, it's it's different. Um, so if if we if we go with that then. Um, 
So how well do we think that matches the theme and the mechanics that they have? And again, the challenge here is um, is is just the, the the lack of mechanics to to match against them, really. I, I mean, yeah, like to be fair, a hundred percent of their mechanics do pull towards <laughs> that escape and evade thing, which is you know, it I'm, is. I'm being yeah. I'm being hunted down by these guards. Yeah. So 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 if it was a, a pass, for example, would be a core dynamic that is not well supported by the mechanics or the audio visual choices. Um, and you could argue that although the their main the, the mechanic they have does fit, um, that it's that the core dynamic is still not well supported because it doesn't have any other mechanics to support it, right? And equally, um, like the audio I mean, visual, tr like the sort of visual clutter of the like the multi floor levels and things, kind of hinders yeah. it because you can't clearly see yeah. what you're escaping from, yeah. or where, or so even where you're escaping to in this level. Like I, yes, I'm, yeah. I'm having to guess that the oh that was an up floor, not a down floor. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. So so a satisfactory would be a core dynamic that is a poor match with the theme of the game and is supported by only some of the mechanics. So may, maybe you would argue it's somewhere between the two. Whoop, and I just fell out completely out of the level. <laughs> okay, that's, that's okay, another bug. Well, uh, that's interesting, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think maybe maybe somewhere between the two or, or, or maybe down at the pass level. Okay. Um Okay, so feedback. Um, so we we gave them feedback uh, during the during the course, and we asked them to say what they what they did as a response. So they said that originally they planned to have a timer, um, so you could compare and compete with friends. But they was point out this muddled the core dynamic, and it made it seem more more like race to the end than survival. Um, and it it would have done. Um, yeah. That... It, and they they could have gone for race to the end, and it would have worked. But yes, um, that that's true. Um, they also said uh, they received feedback would be useful to have a button that would allow you to return to the start of the level if you find yourself stuck. So they've added a corner button in the corner. Yep. And useful to have ways to select or skip levels. So I think this is some sort of practical advice about saying, you know, make it easy for us to look at and, and, and review effectively. Yeah, I mean, so they definitely took that feedback on board. I think with the set of mechanics that they ended up going for, like th there isn't yeah. really need for a reset button because if you're stuck, you've been caught and it's automatically reset. Although yes. just just now when I fell out of the prison and into the endless black void, actually it was quite useful for having it. So yeah. hey. So one thing they did I think was quite nice. They said another piece of feedback was to show what happens with guards, as it may not be clear to begin with. Um, so in response, we added an AI prisoner to the first level who walks into a stationary guard's path, which causes him to disappear. Oh, there you and go. Then text to pop up it. So so that 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 was one of the things we liked. So I think they they had clearly responded responded to that, and I think that's that's good. Yeah, um, I agree. So um, satisfactory for feedback would be the feedback was articulated and some changes have been made with partial success. And a pass would be feedback was not well articulated, but some changes have been made with limited success. I think um, that, is... yeah, I was going to say the, the problem is, is I, I think that they've, they've taken on board the feedback um, and they've explained what it was and they have made changes and they, they have had partial success. So it, it probably is around a satisfactory. Yeah, I think uh, so. But it's, it's just a shame they didn't go that little bit further to actually make it a survival game. They've kind of they've taken out some of the mechanics which confuse things, but um, not necessarily um, uh, you know put others in that accentuate it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so that, that ends up being a, a kind of a, a, a sort of satisfactory mark. Um, okay. okay, shall we move on? Yeah, let's move on to the. Alright, uh, next game is Blender Man, and uh, Dave's joining us for this one. Hello! So, okay, good. Let's play game, tutorial, there's a zombie, so let's... Yeah, that's yeah, a very tutorial. energetic zombie. It is. Not going very far. Oh, a okay. car oh. dropped. That was kind of like a... That's had the effect exciting. of a Gary's so, mod thing. So this, you know, this is our tutorial. You need to find four wheels randomly spawned across the map. You can pick them up by holding the left mouse button and place them on the appropriate place in the car. When you're looking for the parts for a zombie on the loose, if he catches you, you'll lose. You have a flashlight. You can switch it on and off by pressing F. F. It's daytime, okay. but sure. So, the, <laughs> the, so main, the main game is a lot darker than this. You can sprint using shift yeah. and jump using space as well. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but I've thoroughly absorbed all of that information okay, so and will never need to refer to it again. First impressions yeah. of the tutorial? It's a wall of text. That, that's yeah. a wall of text. So let's go. Oh, you have to click and hold. <sighs> does it what? Does it say that in the thing? Yeah, it does say... Holding the left button. We are not paying attention. 
But the, there's four <laughs> four different yeah, paragraphs. That's a lot of text. Then. And if they're just broken yeah. it up that's into paragraph cool. one, paragraph two, then paragraph three, yeah. sort of maybe maybe problems. maybe you have a, an area where you have to walk through to get to the gameplay area, and like, as you walk through that area, it introduces these ideas. So that wouldn't be like, even if it was just popping up each of these different paragraphs, yeah. it wouldn't be ideal, but it'd be better than just immediately dumping it on. Is the zombie supposed to be like? No, it's this. This is just the tutorial, so it just shows okay. you what the zombie looks like. Ah, okay. But it doesn't. That's... Which. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of teaching you that it's teaching the zombie you is not threatening in any yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. But so this it. is this is the problem by when when you have this separation of tutorial and game, right? Because exactly like you said, you've got you, you kind of you're actually being taught taught the wrong thing. Um, so you also notice the the wheels have a very small sort of light around them. Oh, that's I nice. think. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the idea. It's so one of the things uh, I asked them in the. Expo was, you know, if I've got this flashlight, why would I ever want to turn the flashlight off? Yeah. Because the zombie isn't attracted to the flashlight. Oh, right, okay. However, these it. things glow slightly, yeah. so if you've got the flashlight on, they're harder to see. Ah, which, okay. well, again, I guess we'll find out when we get to the game, right? Cool. Let's go. Alright, let's do this. Let's play the game. Number of zombies? I would just have the one if I were. Oh, you can have six zombies. You go hard or go home. Alright. <laughs> uh, okay. Get good scroll. So, so there's got, your car. There's a lot back. There's the so road. You've got the flashlight. Is your flashlight on? Or oh, okay. This is, this is on. This is so on. the road is just a different color grass texture. So we're playing yes, a ha ultra hard. Dark. All right. And you seem to lose your sprint ability. Okay. Yeah, it says there's stamina, but there's no yeah. indicator. It, there is no stamina indicator, but it recharges slowly behind the scenes. It doesn't tell you what your stamina level is. Right. Kind of place. That's unfortunate. But the zombies aren't attracted to the light, and we don't have a battery or anything like that, so we might as well just wander around with the light on. So the zombie AI is kind of interesting. So they, were, mode, right? they were talking about the um, the sort of zombie AI. So they'll sort of wander around randomly until they see you, yeah. and then they will sort of go to you. Yeah. Uh, and if they lose you, they will sort of go to where they last saw you, and then okay. go back to wandering around randomly, which is kind of interesting. Sounds quite nice, yeah. But can you just walk off the edge? No, I tried that as well. Okay. So basically, we're in a forest. Our car wheels have been stolen by zombies. Yes, and they're scattered throughout the forest. And now we've got to go and get the car wheels. Can we stay in the car until morning? No. I would do that. <laughs> um, okay. So actually, have you seen any zombies yet? Nope. I haven't seen any wheels. So either. the level is ah. quite large. Ah. And ah. Well, just, a different, just a different invisible wall. Oh, oh, no. Okay, you can go down that. Wait, was maybe it's so at the end of this little cliff. I did not notice this behind you. So are you just stuck down here? I feel like the wheel is going to be behind you. It's kind of like because that's where I would have put it. It's like a zombie bar. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like a natural sort of formation of land. <laughs> I don't know whether this is intentional or not. But there are trees down there. There are. Uh, which, yeah. It does seem to go lower and lower, so perhaps we can... I, uh, it's not clear whether... It looks like it's going, but that might just be perspective. No, it's definitely... No, it's going down, it's going down. Not using net mapping. Oh, and it's going up again. You can jump, you can't. You can't jump. That's very interesting. Yeah. I, I, I just restart I, the level. Yeah, yeah. That's probably a good idea. So yeah, uh, max zombies again? Well, let's, let's well, do I didn't that, see any, it would so, be nice yeah. to meet a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So my... So I kind of get what they were going for. They were going for kind of a... Uh, I get know, what they were going a, for. A, a like horror survivalist vibe. Is it meant I to be mean, a bit like Slenderman? But that's the... That's, yeah. Right, yeah, well, when we get to their, what they think their core dynamic is, that'll be interesting as well. They've got mm. some interesting thing going on here between a sort of survival thing and a collection. Okay, so is there any audio at all? Uh, so we should have audio on, and I don't hear any, so it might no, just be the last one. So. so actually, while we're, yeah, while we're on the subject, should we start going through the mark scheme and look at okay. quality yep. first? So presentation. Presentation, information design, and aesthetics. So, so they, the, the environment's got, nice. They've got the dark and spooky forest thing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the light works well. The, Although, yeah, the, yeah. The, the fact that you've got sort of just an endless cliff with an invisible wall at the edge of the thing is <laughs> kind of a shame. It's also a little bit featureless. Mm. It is. So, I mean, in one hand, that kind of helps the whole I'm totally lost thing. Um, it's probably a bit too big. 
that you can So far, we haven't seen many. any zombies or tyres, and if um, I asked you right now, go back to your car, do you reckon you'd be able to find it? I, I was thinking, is the compass useful? And then I noticed I was yeah. going north east, so I, I went southwest, so I might, I might find it again. Yeah. We'll, find, we'll find out if I find it. So, thing. okay, so, so the, 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 the graphical quality is certainly consistent, mm -hmm. and, it, and it suits the theme of the game. Um, there's no music. Um, mm. the, the, was there any sound effects when you interacted with the tutorial? I don't, I don't think, so. think so. So there's also... Actually, is there? Let me just turn um, it up a little bit. And what about the controls? Are you, is it okay to control? Hang on, we're not on there yet. We're still on presentation. <laughs> so so the, the UI is, is also, that... for example, there's no stamina bar, despite mm. stamina being no, a mechanic. No, true. Yeah, that's, that's true. So in fact, the, the general information design is, is a bit lacking. Um, mm. So you've got, I, I don't know whether it tells you how many wheels are on your car or anything like that, or whether they... Uh, there's no uh, like UI indicator, but I guess you should know that because you put them there. So they yeah. should. So that's so those oh, 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 a wheel. That Next is to the very road. difficult to see. Yeah. Oh, was that a zombie noise? Oh, shh. <laughs> Running towards me. Do you know about the Okay, car so is? there are some sound effects. We have also encountered a zombie. There you go. There it comes. Oh, yeah, I can just about hear something. Oh, yeah, there you go. The zombie makes the sound. God, is he in a, in a way, way, Oh, there's another wheel. There's in another a way, wheel. The, 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 the silent forest and the snarling zombies actually work quite well. Yeah, it's kind of like but, a snarling. Um, Right, I'm going to leave all the tyres in one place. Now you said you knew where the car was. I did until Is I... it getting closer to you? It does seem to be gaining. Yeah. I guess it's gaining on you. Right, where's that place? Oh, is that, is that the one you just... No, I put my one on the top of this hill. Oh, oh there's another one up there, right where my tyre is. Oh yeah. Wait, but what, what is your goal? Hiding all the tyres in the same place? Yeah. You no. died. It got you. I, I did not. I did not. Um, did I there? Yeah. No, you good. don't appear to have died. You don't appear to have died. You just it just tells you you've died. All right, I'm gonna find my car. All right. Sorry. So. So okay. So um. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure when I played this in the expo, I don't remember if I could move after this. So yeah. That's it'd be right. interesting to see if this. So where are you? So so what 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 does it say for so, presentation for say satisfactory? So satisfactory would be key information is shown, consistent graphics, some audio. So I think I think consistent graphics, some audio. In mm -hmm. fact, the graphics you might even argue were a more up at a bit higher than that. Um, to a degree, yes, but the fact that we're in a forest floating in the void mm -hmm. kind yeah. of sort of undermines it. And information design is 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 a bit lacking. Um, I mean, part of it is there's not a huge amount of information to convey. So the fact that it no. doesn't have a stamina bar though is the weird thing because that yeah, is yeah. that and is very and important. It, and it's a key key aspect of this, presumably, yeah. is managing your stamina. So, so given that there's so little information, the fact that that's missing is. Yeah. Not I, and I, I, I was I would wonder if they were going for a sort of minimalistic UI kind of thing. Yes. Where you know, so you know, to try and make it more immersive, so there's no UI, but then there's a compass floating at the top. So mm. that, yeah, yeah. And even bad. if you don't want UI, you could have the stamina and get like you could. They've got sound effects. So you could have, say, the character pant yeah, while exactly. the stamina's out or something. Yeah. So I say, it doesn't have to just be UI that you sort of use to convey your information. It can be stuff like audio design, yeah. which they kind of do to at least alert you that there's a zombie nearby. But I think so overall I'm, it's slightly... So I still out. think that, roughly speaking, it's the satisfactory level. I think there's. A, I think I think you could argue that the graphics are a bit, a, a bit over that, and you could argue that the, um, the information design is a bit lower than that. So a pass for this would be some attempt at information design, consistent but poorly chosen graphics, mm. some poorly chosen audio effects. <clears throat> so I, I think it's better than that. I think, I think it yeah. is better than that. It uh, might be between pass and satisfactory. Yeah, but... yeah. I think I think the information design is probably at the pass level, and the rest of it isn't the satisfactory or slightly above level. Mm. Um, interesting. Oh, oh there they come. So they, those two spawned right in the corner, and that, this one is just. <laughs> okay. So what about uh, gameplay? So if we if we look at the satisfactory uh, level again, that would be a set of mechanics and usable controls that leads to some meaningful play. So what mechanics are there? You can walk around. You can pick up the tire. tire. You can attach the tire back to your car. And you so can you flashlight. Can oh, there's the, there is the flashlight, but again, the flashlight. But see, this is the meaningful thing, right? So the flashlight. I mean, they they, they tried a little bit with the tires, 
But but also the tires because they appear in the distance anyway, they're they're sort of out of range of your flashlight, so I'm not entirely sure. Mm. I mean, the, uh, I think you you've hinted at this. The obvious thing would be to make the zombies attracted to the flashlight, right? And yeah. then you, you've got this kind of key choice. Yeah. And, and then it feels like you'd have much more meaningful play. But the thing, even then, like if you turn the flashlight off for a second, like you couldn't meaningfully play without it. Like well, even if it's oh no, there's a zombie nearby. But but, but I, I I don't know actually. There's there's an argument that when you're on the edge of the map, you can see the you can see the silhouettes. I mean they're behind you at the moment. Yeah, it might be because it's quite light in here. But you can you can see the you can see the silhouettes of the trees, especially yeah. when you're as I said on the edge. Not just now. <laughs> Max turned around. This in a maybe. dark room, I reckon you could do it without the flashlight. If you turn your flashlight off now, you'd be able to make out what's going on. That's right. Yeah. And, and again, you've got a choice, right? So then your choice would be do I stick to the edges of the forest where I can kind of see what's going on, or do I go into the dark and scary forest but, and have to turn my flashlight on? But it's not a choice if the tyres are anywhere other than the edge of the map. Yeah. Well, it's a choice. Well, that's, that's sort of true. But you can choose when to do it. Um, but anyway, so they haven't done that anyway. Yeah. We're, we're, we're arguing about the mechanic they have done. So, so, so that's so. It's, it feels to me like the mechanics actually uh, are, are quite simple. Mm. Um, so, a pass would be fewer inconsistent mechanics, challenging controls, leading to limited meaningful play. And I kind of feel that's sort of where we are, isn't it? Um, like the, I, the control, I, the controls I, seem okay. I don't think the controls are challenging. I think, but it's the sort of meaningful play aspect that's yeah. lacking yeah. a bit. So, mm. I think that perhaps between a pass and satisfactory. Yeah, I think that's fair. Like you do have the choice of when you use the sprint but the sprint is pretty short yeah, yeah. And so actually that's true that's another mechanic isn't it it's the sprint and stamina but then they haven't foregrounded it so and again it's one of these things where there's no real penalty for using it so yeah. you just kind of use it every time you possibly can do and um what about bugs so it doesn't <laughs> appear to be any bugs but there's so, a question as to how complex the so occasionally the zombies get stuck on they do. Actually, also, I'm we are currently playing. Also, also. <laughs> you're right. That probably is a is a is a feature. If I, if, um, do, you, do you want to quit and restart just to see yeah. if that happens again? So, what would what would be the satisfactory for, for for bugs? Uh, satisfactory for bugs would be game is playable and is reasonably complex, but there are infrequent serious bugs and or frequent minor bugs. We can turn zombies yeah. off. Yeah, let's not do that. The goal is to die. So it feels to me that there aren't act that there are aren't that many bugs. There's a there's a there's a weird bug. It's not really a bug, but it's just kind of that you don't die properly, essentially. So is this meant to be um, a room? The problem yeah. here, I think, is the is the complexity. Like it's it's a relatively low complex set of mechanics and interactions they've got going on. So yeah. a pass would be game is playable, but it's either simple or there are frequent serious bugs. Mm. Yeah. So that, well, we also had the zombies spawning on the edge of the map being stuck, and also the the map with the sh sudden sharp yeah. terrain yeah. which you can jump on. So I think it might be around that level. So about a pass, yeah, I think so. Okay. okay so that gets us on to the actual brief itself. Um, level design. So this is kind of like <coughs> yeah. This is sort of the key part of this coursework, and I don't feel that they've designed a level. No. They've put a a big open space with some trees in. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. Another... I mean I mean what what is here is I think I think it's relatively effective, but it is really lacking in it's in those uh, It's effective atmospherically. Yes. But it yeah. doesn't lead to good gameplay. Yeah. The other I mean, thing is do you know... in the feedback they've actually said at the very end, as it's really hard to navigate in the forest, we added a compass. Yeah. So the fact they had to add an extra mechanic because yeah, you couldn't see, tell but the, the, so the compass doesn't is. really help. Whoa, sticky keys. So that's because I'm pushing the shift button all the time because I don't know when it's uh, available. So the other okay. thing is, do you know how they place these? Is it random? It is random. Okay. So what's, Which, the, what's the pass level for this? Because as you said, it, it almost feels like there is no level design in a sense. It is a, it's an open space. So it'd be a level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics but poorly balanced or paced and with lack of clarity over goals, risks and rewards. Uh, so I think it's, it's that doesn't sound million miles off. What would be poor? So poor would be a poor level design that does not demonstrate the mechanics adequately and is poorly balanced and paced with a lack of clarity over goals, risks, and rewards. Then I'll be honest, that sounds. It like sounds a so I I think the I think it's a pass in terms of how of incorporating the mechanics, but it's probably but again it's the mechanics are lacking enough that there's not yeah, enough but, of them to display. But for the rest of it, it's down at the poor level, isn't it? You know, mm. you know, it's not quite clear. I mean, the goal is clear. It's fix the car. 
But yeah. how how you go about doing that is yes. you have to just stumble around blindly. So I think maybe for this, it might be between the two. I think you might be right, yes. It just reminds me of Slenderman, but all of the iconic features of Slenderman are just not here. There's trees. Yeah. So one of the things I spoke to them about in the expo is, you know, if they'd have put, for example, a landmark, like a, yeah. a house yeah. in the yeah. forest, yeah. at least that would be a point of reference. Absolutely. So, so mm -hmm. they have tried to do that with this road, but because... Yeah. But this took, what, 10 seconds in Unity? Well, also it's just... It has no effect. I mean, like, yeah. so, you know, I'd be thinking about things like, well, wow, could you put a lighthouse on the, on the corner, right? Mm. Or even, and then you're playing with light again. And you 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 can make you can think about it being a safe haven. And you can think there's also a lamppost like on the car, so it's a yeah, easier yeah. point to get back to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's it's next to a road, there's so. lots of stuff you could have done with the whole idea of light and darkness, and sort of landmarks and, and landmarks, navigation yeah. and things like that. Um, tutorial wise, so the tutorial. I mean, so it had a tutorial. It had a tutorial. Right? I mean, you know, it definitely had that. Um, it, it it was a text dump. It was. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't a text dump at the beginning of the game. It gave you a playable space to, to operate. To, like, test the mechanics, show what it was like to yeah. pick up a wheel and attach it to the car. And the text does stay up for the whole tutorial, so you can yeah. refer back to it. But it's not integrated. It's not, no. 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 Um, and there's no kind of sense of, of kind of progressing through it. Or um, so again, what would what would the pass be for the tutorial? So did pass, we, sorry, uh, did the zombie in the tutorial have any sound? No, don't no. think so. No. Okay. Because I, I, that's, that's another thing. Because like, as, as you mentioned, right, the, the, not only are they teaching you bad practice, they're not actually teaching about the behaviour of the zombie at all. No. Right. So a pass would be a tutorial that communicates some goals, risks, rewards, and it introduces information and mechanics in a logical way. And it does communicate yes. what you need mm. to be doing by just you know, text dumping. Yeah. But it doesn't. Yeah. So the text itself is in a logical way, but it doesn't introduce the mechanics in a way. It basically sort of dumps yeah. the text onto you and then says, right now, go and look at them. So what about the, what, what the poor? So a poor for that would be a tutorial that communicates some goals, risk, rewards, and that introduces some information and mechanics. See, I, I, I almost fit more like that, because it doesn't teach mm. you about the zombies and how they behave. Um, I mean, maybe between the two again. Um, yeah. Because it kind of does try, it, it covers most of the other things in the game. Yeah. Um, core dynamic. What do they say that was their core dynamic? So this is a tree studies one. So then they say that it focuses on two core dynamics. Yeah. Which are <laughs> survival <laughs> slash evading and yeah. collection. Yeah. So so, 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 so that's actually three for a start. Yeah. yeah. So so immediately this is the whole point, right? So the whole point of the core dynamic is you have a core dynamic, not not multiple things. Um, and if you have other things that are going on, they're subservient to that core dynamic. Um, so this, they, they say that you can uh, decide whether the game should be more focused on collection or survival slash evading by adjusting the number of zombies, which see, is an interesting In approach. a collection game, the whole idea is it's fun to run around and collect stuff. Right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the, the hook. And a survival game, the whole thing is that you're constantly on edge and it's fun because you are in that heightened tension and you get a thrill from, well, surviving, right? mm -hmm. making it through. Um, and I think if you were making this a survival game in collection, the collection would have to be more directly related to your survival. Right? Yeah. So, you, so for example, if they're attracted to light, then you pick up um, flares or something and throw, you can throw them and, and distract the zombies, right? Um, that, that works. And if it was a collection game with a survival element, I'd, I'd expect there to be more stuff to collect, right? Then it'd be, this is... Uh, well, survival games also often, not always, but often have a sort of, you know, inf infinite length, and it's all about, mm. can I survive longer yeah, than I did last yeah. time? Whereas this one, again, there's a final end point, which is when yeah. you fix your car. Can you do this? Like, mm. weirdly, I think that it that is more sort of like an escape and evade type thing. Yes. But, but at the same time, most it. of your time is spent not knowing and, where the yeah, enemy is. Exactly. So I haven't seen one. Just because of the level design and the mechanics they've chosen, yeah. it could well be any of those three, yeah. but the mechanics are spread so thin across all of them, it never really... So, so what does it say for a pass? Uh, so a pass would be a core dynamic that is not well supported by the mechanics or the audio-visual choices. And what would Paul be? Paul would be the mechanics and or audio-visual choices detract from the attempted core dynamic. Hmm... Absent would be almost no serious attempt at developing a core dynamic, and I'm almost wondering if it's that, because they've sort of picked three, and 
none of the mechanics really reinforce them particularly well. So that's true. So they have, they've given some thought about the types of dynamics yeah, they'd like yeah. to do, but they've not settled on them. And I think that's so. So to me, the, the aesthetics of it suggests that that they're going for a survival game. Can I uh, just the first three sentences of the feedback? Yeah. Uh, that uh, the feedback was we needed to figure out what our core dynamic would be. So we decided to incorporate two instead of focusing on just one. This was done by allowing the player to choose what dynamic they wanted to focus on. So that's the opposite of the advice that got yeah. yeah. So, yeah, <clears throat> okay. Um, so it does, I, I kind of agree with Tom that it almost feels like there isn't even an I, attempt at a core dynamic. I, I, th I think that they know, they know what they're going for. I think they're going for the survival horror thing, but they just don't understand how the, how the mechanics would contribute towards that. Right, and how you would incorporate other types of dynamics into that experience. Yeah, so, I think so for me, I wouldn't put it as completely absent. I think absent would be unfair because they have tried. To do they, it. Yeah, they've they've made an attempt. So for me, for me, at worst, it's between absent and poor. So what was poor again? What was the so poor would be uh, the mechanics and or audio visual choices detract from the attempted core dynamic. The problem is it's difficult to judge it based on yeah. what dynamics they I... wanted because they've said three. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think partly just the the level design, the space they've laid out. It, I think the fact that the level is so big sort of works against all three. It does, yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Like collecting things isn't fun because it's just trudging through mm. a featureless forest. Evading the zombies isn't necessarily challenging because we've not seen yeah, any yeah. zombies. Yeah. So you've set it to one yeah. zombie this time. One, but I think yeah. that's the default. Yeah. yeah. So I. To yeah. be fair, when we had eight, it took a very long time to find any zombies, and yeah. we kind of stumbled across three at once. Yeah. I, I would I think I would probably put this at a at a poor. I think mm. kind of they've I, I get the feeling that they know what they're trying to do. They've not articulated it well in the in the document, but they they know what they're trying to do and they're, 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 these things are clashing, right? But it's not like they're they're completely absent. It's not completely random. They've tried to make it work. Um, so for me I think it's a, a poor. Okay, okay. And last but not least is the feedback. So So yeah, so what so what they were told that they uh, yeah, so we've, that's, we've, we've discussed the core dynamic, so they've been told uh, to figure out what it was and then, as they say, they decided to incorporate two and let the player choose which dynamic they want. Yeah. So um, I, that, 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 that's a shame, because the thing that's is, that's a misreading of that feedback. It's, mm -hmm. it's not the player's role to decide what type no, of game they should be playing, that's your role as a designer. And, and again, it's worth, it's worth reiterating, it's not that you can only have one type of game. The whole idea of a core dynamic is that if you align your game around one aspect, it allows you to have these other dynamics in the game, but they all work to serve the main dynamic. There that, is, that always improves the experience. And there are certainly games that have multiple core dynamics that focus yes. on different things, but they tend to be a lot bigger and developed by a lot more people over a lot longer period. And this yes, is yes. a prototype, so that's why we yeah. specifically asked for just the one. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could, I, like, I guess, arguably there are games that do allow you to choose your core dynamic, particularly the more open world things, but mm. especially if one of yours is like supposed to be this kind of survival evasion mm. mechanic uh, dynamic, then allowing them to choose not to so, do that so, kind of completely undermines so it. So in this case I'm a bit more worried that they, they, they've got the advice which is to focus on it and choose a core dynamic and focus on it, and what they've done is exactly the opposite. Yeah. So, so was, the, was, was there any other feedback that they've uh, So. Uh, so the, they were asked how to how the zombie would chase the player and how that would make it more interesting. So they described the algorithm they made so that uh, the zombie picks directions based on the probability of the player being there. Um, and if you block your line of sight, the zombie uh, kind of stops locking onto you. Okay. But again, what, apparently, if you run or jump, you like generate that. more noise so the zombie can hear you from a greater distance. Again, would have been useful but to put in the tutorial. There's... Can you jump? <laughs> well, we're not making any noise. We've not. No. Uh, yeah, you haven't been able to jump so far. At least it's not okay. been. Um, what, what's the pass level for the feedback? So that would be feedback was not well articulated, but some changes have been made with limited success. Whereas poor would be feedback was not well articulated and few changes have been made with sex. Absent would be no serious attempt to include the feedback. So the problem here is that they, they, they have articulated the feedback, it's just that they've made the wrong choice about how mm. to solve the problem and actually have made it arguably worse. Um, so I, I, I think it's probably poor again. I think you're right. Um, rather than absent. They, 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 they've made an attempt to do it. Okay. 
Should we move on? Okay, so uh, our next game is Drop to Survive. So it's just me and Tom on this one. Um, so Tom, you've got the controls. Yep, I will... Uh, hang on a minute. There we go. Off we go. So we had to open this one up in Unity because the uh, the actual build of the game didn't quite work. And I also had to go into some of the code and just tweak the speed values because I think what they'd done is they'd tied the speed to the frames per second and on my machine uh, that, that meant it was going ludicrously fast. Okay, but So yeah, when, when I tested this I had the same had the same problem. So uh, okay, so we think this is more of a fair fair representation of what it's supposed to be. Yeah, this looks more how it was in the expo. So here we here's our little tutorial bit. So we've got left and right to move, we've got space to jump, yep. we've got a box yep. that blocks us and yep. we've got an arrow so, going so down. I quite, I quite like the little space uh, the the space and the arrow over the box. That's nice. Yep. No blocks and double points. So, got... so the sort of chalky chalky style at the back kind of works. Does um, clash slightly with the main character? Yeah, that's it's a different style, isn't it? Um, it would have been nice if the main character had been a little bit more. In in fact, there's almost three different styles going on, isn't there? There's the because you've got those icons up in the top right hand corner. Yeah. Which I'm guessing are the power ups. I think so. We've got double points. Um, and we've got like an anti block yeah, thing. There you go. So they're very clear. You can see exactly what they mean. Um, you know, no blocks and times. Actually, when I say that, times two what? Times two. I think we get two points for every. So we get one point normally when we drop through a platform thing, and there's another power yep. up. So yeah, we get just get two points. Yep. Uh, okay, and as uh -oh, uh -oh, now, uh -oh. now you're speeding up, uh, and now you've been killed by what I guess is spikes, but yeah, they're, they're fairly blunt spikes, but you know. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, no, I didn't get the power ups. Uh. Kill you slowly. Um, yeah, so there's almost like three different styles, isn't there? There's the power up style, there's the the, the main avatar style, and there's the the level itself. Um, so all three, all three kind of work on their own, but together they they clash a bit. I think. Okay, so overall, I th I think we've seen all there is to see of the game, and it is it's quite simple. It it's, is, pl it's, it? it's playable, but there is not a huge amount to it. Okay, so I mean, should we should we start going through? I I think we might. So yeah. we <laughs> so we got presentation. Um, so what's your feeling here? Kind of it. So if we were to to look at something like, uh, let me think. Well, a pass would be some attempt at information design, consistent but poorly chosen graphics, some poor chosen audio effects or music. So I, I is there any music here? I can't uh, hear it. No, I've not. Don't seem to have any. Um, so I think the information design isn't isn't too bad. Like particularly the pop ups and stuff are like it's very clear when yeah. they're running and sort of when they're about to run out. I yes. mean, there's not really a lot the player can sort of do with that information. No. Uh, so so you know satisfactory. So key, key information is shown would be satisfactory. Yep. And I and I have a feeling that the information design. Is, is maybe up there you've got the score down the bottom it's a bit small i don't know whether that's just because of the it's not scaled properly but it's there um so you've got key information is kind of there um the graphics um so a pass would be consistent but poorly chosen graphics and a poor would be serious inconsistencies with the graphics i don't know i don't they're, think they're serious, I don't think they're serious yeah. but maybe like possibly for the graphics at least halfway between those so. Yeah, probably, um, or, or maybe at the past level. Yeah, um, and then um, uh, poor would be absent or poorly chosen audio. So I think what we're looking for is a is a range of things between poor and satisfactory. So I think that um, puts it so. Uh, pass. So it probably puts it in the pass. Yeah. Um, okay. What about the what about the the gameplay? Um, that's the kind of the set of mechanics and the controls. What's it like to control? Uh, the control. Well, now I fixed uh, the controls. They fit. They feel very good. Um, like smooth. The jumps, you know, slightly floaty, but it it works. Yep. Me I, the problem is there's sort of a lack of mechanics. There's so the, there's the moving platforms. There's the boxes that block you, and there's the power ups yep. that give you more points or uh, or stop the boxes. Yes. But in terms of meaningful play, there's, yep. there's not a huge amount going on. And this is something that I think I'll, I'm going to mention when we get to the level design bit as well. Yeah, like there, so. there's not sort of the element of choice, and in fact, the the way they've designed the levels is sort of working against them. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that later on, but it's also, I mean, I'm guessing this is a, is a generated... Yep. Uh, randomly generated. And I don't think there's necessarily any safeguards in place that stop it, that ensure it's possible past a certain point. Like Yes, okay. They they will speed yeah. up so fast that you just can't win, which is a bit of a shame. Well, looking at the mark scheme, so a pass would be few or inconsistent mechanics, um, challenging controls and leading to limited meaningful play. Um, and a satisfactory would be a set of mechanics, usable controls, and some meaningful play. And it feels to me that it, it feels that again, more it's like probably the pass level. It's probably yeah, it is. Um, so I I think basically because of the very few mechanics um, and that limited play, you know, you kind of you're, you're not. They said you're not making a lot of choices. You're there's a little bit where you're kind of choosing whether or not to get the power ups or not. I guess. But I don't necessarily think. Yeah, I like at a certain point it sort of stops becoming a choice just because there is no time to get them. That's right, and if they're and if yeah, so and either there also, is or there isn't time basically. They're not sort yeah. of super valuable to get either. Like the boxes aren't really that much of an obstacle. Like maybe if it was yeah, a power up that slowed the thing back down, that would suddenly be yeah, worth there's... worth risking it for. Yes. Uh, yeah, or kind of make, making a dash to do a quick little rewind or something. And if you you make it, you get the space. And if you don't, you you don't get the space. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so that's probably at a, that's probably at a pass level as well then. Mm -hmm. um, um, bugs. Um, so not I a mean, huge amount in the way of bugs, but also not a huge amount to go wrong. Yeah. So the complexity here is the problem, isn't it? So I think I think there you know there are no bugs, but in the mark scheme. Uh, Again, a pass would be that the game is simple. Um, a poor would be very simple, um, and satisfactory would be reasonably complex. I, again, it feels probably more like a pass. I think. Yeah, sort of the eternal question of how simple is too simple. Yes. <laughs> so we, we, these are only supposed to be, you know, sort of small prototypes of a game, but this this is definitely a bit too simple. Yeah. I think. Well, I mean, so so the poor level was very simple. Um, we, we've got a number of different I suppose we've got a couple of things going on here um, but fundamentally you are yeah you are just really jumping for those those holes and that the rest of it's not particularly well integrated so I, I think it's either a pass or it's halfway between a pass and a, and a we, poor I, I think I'm leaning towards halfway between the two Okay, so uh, the next bit is level design. So, did you want to say a little bit about the what's going on here? Yeah, so I sort I sort of already hinted at this. So the level design is procedural, so which you know is arguably a good fit because it's like in sort of endless game. Yep. But the problem is there's no there's no sort of algorithm that designs no. the levels. Even if it's not a, a person that sort of hand curated every single level, the the way you generate them can't just be random. So, so some way of sort of determining, you know, where the player is, where should I put the next hole, where should I put the boxes, yeah, where should so I put essentially the power ups and things. So essentially, there's two there's two quick things to look for, isn't there? So so the first one is, are there interesting patterns, and are you randomly deploying interesting patterns rather than just sort of vaguely hoping that the patterns will emerge? That's the first thing. Yeah. Um, and the second thing is. Um, whether or not, um, as you said, there are rules to that generation. So in this case, we've got an issue that um, as it gets to a certain point, it becomes physically impossible to actually get to the next hole in time. Yeah. So presumably what you'd help them to have is some kind of calculation which said that the holes were appearing um, in a place where you could actually get to them. The issue with um, that is, obviously, at later levels, you'd end up with just... A, a straight down yeah. hole. It just be a straight down hole, yeah. So uh, in, in which case, in which case, what you'd do is you'd you'd say, okay, so you get to a certain point where the speed is maximised, um, and then you need the boxes to be appearing in more complex patterns, and that's where perhaps the patterns thing comes from. Yeah, exactly. So rather than just let the rather than just having individual boxes, you may have certain patterns of things that are difficult to navigate. You know. And then you um, can sort of maximize, you know, like the sort of placement of these anti-box power-ups to make those more interesting to deal with and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so that's that's what you could have done. <laughs> um, so in terms of what's here and how that fits in with the, the level design, um, so, if we were to, to look 
at what for would example, a pass level look like on the max scheme? Yeah, so it says a level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics, but poorly balanced or paced, and with a lack of clarity over the goals, risks, and rewards. Um, and and that sounds it's maybe where we are. Yeah, I mean, so um, the level it, design does it showcases all of the mechanics, but there are fairly few mechanics to showcase, and it doesn't do um, it in a sort yeah. of sensibly paced way that because but they are you, random. You could argue actually that the that that it doesn't demonstrate the mechanics adequately because of those power-ups and the fact that the power-ups don't really do anything useful. Um, I mean, they're kind of... Well, like you said, that I would say it demonstrates the, the mechanics. It just doesn't do anything sort of cohesive with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so poor would also be poorly balanced and paced and a lack of clarity over goals, risks, and rewards. So it... it Perhaps it's not quite down. I'm may, maybe halfway between the two. Again, the problem it sort of ties back into the level design in that the goals, risks, and rewards are inherently random. Yeah. So, for, like, if we're scoring this based on you know, that, I got sort of thirty-five. But is that just because I got lucky and there were three holes in a row, or yeah. is yeah. that because I was skillfully, skillfully getting these power-ups? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yes, I suppose. I, I suppose the question is: Do do we think there has been an attempt at level design? You know, they're, they're, so they've obviously. I think you can argue there has been. They've there, there's definitely been, that, yeah. Like there has been some attempt because they've they've made the procedural system. I just don't think yeah. it's it's as good as it could have been. Yeah. So my 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 feeling is is that um, it sits somewhere between a poor and a pass, and it's kind of in that ballpark. Oh, you um, say between sort of a poor and a pass. To, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, the tutorial. Um, so the tutorial is essentially the start bit. Yeah, in fact, oh. there are something. Yeah, so there are, that, there are things I like here. I think it kind of. I know it's. I know it's inconsistent with the with the rest of the graphics, but actually, um, it, it kind of works, and it works as kind of graffiti on the background, and it, and it's integrated in in that it kind of shows you, you know, jump over this box, drop down this hole. Um, so, so it does that quite well. I also like the fact that it doesn't start scrolling until you jump down the hole. Yeah, because it forces um, you to learn how to jump before you can actually proceed with the game, which is yes, good. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. Um, so, so I think they they start off quite well, and again, it, it's the mechanics things coming in, isn't it? So the problem is, is really what we're after is as new mechanics are introduced, they get introduced using the same so mechanism seamlessly into the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so you you might you might suddenly find a new type of power up, or um, at which point it you know it, it's also illustrated on the background, or um, right, maybe right. there's some kind of some kind of enemy or some kind of interaction you have to you know click a button to open a trapdoor or something, you know, yeah, and, exactly. and 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 we'd expect those to come in, but because those don't exist, there's no way for them to do it, and as a result, the tutorial really can't have. The, the kind of integration that we're that we're sort of looking for. Um, so, again, looking at the looking at the pass, it would be a tutorial that communicates some goals, risks, and rewards, and it introduces some information and mechanics in a logical way. Um, so, I think it does introduce some information and mechanics in a logical way. I think it manages that just that first bit, right? Yeah, it's um, it is sort of like the exact like the the minimalist example of like. Yeah, introducing stuff in a logical way, like sort of forcing the player to learn how to jump before you like throw them yeah. down a hole. But th so, that's the so, problem; it's just a bit minimal. Um, and then again, it, does it does it communicate the goals, risk, rewards? Does it kind of really tell you? So that times two thing, for example, um, it says double points, doesn't it? I suppose. Yeah. So you could argue that's that's trying to tell you that you should be going for those kind of things. Um, but yeah, it's it's so so for me it's it's probably either a pass, um, or it's just slightly lower than a pass. Uh, and uh, if we're umming and ahhing over that, then yeah, sort of between the two, I guess. Between the two. Um, okay, so that that then gets us on to the the core dynamic. Um, so uh, they said their core dynamic was survival. The game is infinite, and so continues until the player dies, and the aim of the game is to survive as long as possible. Um, and to be fair, that is, yeah, this is what I would call sort of a textbook survival game. Like, the, the fun bit is, can I survive longer than I did last time? 
Like I'm inevitably yes. going to die, but can I can I beat my high score before I do? Yes, that's right. So so it kind of uh, so it kind of fits. Um, the I'm just, so the so the power ups are kind of integrated in the sense in that I guess the no blocks makes it easier to survive, um, and the times two is a way of, of boosting your your score. Um, I do wonder whether the does the times two the kind score... of undermine it because yeah, I, so, I, so, so it, 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 I'm wondering whether it would have been better instead of having a times two whether you've had something which would have paused the the descent or kind of or you know. I, I think the time rolled you down to the bottom of the screen or something, you know. Yeah, so I was thinking this as well. Like the times two kind of sort of undermines the scoring system because it's all about how long can you survive. Yeah. But if they'd been placed in such a way that you know they were really risky to get, and it's a yeah. case of do I take this risk to cut my entire run short just to get a few bonus points? Yeah. Then it kind of still ties into it. It does. But, but part of the problem I, I, is I th they're not sensibly placed. It's just a case of occasionally I'll get yeah. lucky and there'll be one right next to the edge. I, I think it's because, it, it's, as you said, it's kind of like a, a how long can I survive game. Um, but what you're actually doing is is it, those two things is how high a score can I get and how long I can survive are, are kind of different. Um, and they're sort of aligned here, but maybe not quite aligned. And that's why it makes it feel a bit strange. That's why I think I would have rather have seen power ups that were about that were directly about can you survive longer rather than can you build your score up more, if you see what I mean. Yeah, I, so, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, I I, I know what you mean. They're, they're, I I think what I'm getting at is they're not they're not opposed. They're not pulling in different directions. They're just not quite as well aligned as they could be. Um, well, okay, let's have, let's have a look at this. So, um, uh, if we're looking at the core dynamics stuff. Um, uh, a, a pass would be a core dynamic that is not well supported by the mechanics of the audio visual choices. I, I think it's better than that, isn't it? I, I think it is, yeah. Um, so a satisfactory would be a core dynamic that is a poor match for the theme of the game and is supported by only some of the mechanics and audio visual choices. And it kind of feels maybe more there. Yeah, so the thing is, it, I would say it's a good match for the sort of the theme of the game, but again, it's down to there aren't enough mechanics that support it there's no music or audio that supports it yeah so so maybe because of that um we should we should maybe put it sort of a little bit lower than satisfactory yeah i think so so yeah just like even just a, like a little bit of background music and if they wanted to be like really clever yeah. to have that background music speed up the lower you get speed up yeah absolutely um okay and then the last uh, the last thing to look at is feedback um, so they said uh, that their main feedback was the power-ups. Um, firstly, that they should be visually represented uh, of what they do. And they took this into account and decided for the double points, we would use a simple times two in a circle. And for the no blocks, we used an image of the blocks with a red diagonal line about it. Um, and another thing that was mentioned was to clearly show their temporary. And we did this by showing that kind of drain um, as it goes. And that, that does work, actually. That so works yeah, well, doesn't it? Sort of the information um, design aspect of it. Like they, Yeah, they've done that bit really nicely. Yeah. Um, so uh, there was some concern over the, the performance of the game as it's infinite and the platforms are generated in random locations. So they said to prevent our game from slowing, we use a set of five platforms in 10 blocks um, and then relocate those pieces from off screen. So, so that, that seems to me it's more of a. So it's about clearing up. So the, uh, the I remember talking to them about it, and I feel like they might have misunderstood where we were coming from. So obviously the performance yeah. thing is you know important, and they've come at it with a nice way. So as these blocks scroll off the screen, they're just moved to they the get, bottom get, instead of generating the infinite up. blocks. Re reused, yeah. But I think we were more getting it, it from terms of sort of gameplay and sort of that kind of performance. So like, can the player yeah. can the player physically keep playing for as long as possible, or yeah. are they going to be in a frustrating situation where it's a case of well, I failed because the level generation said I failed, and not because yeah. I messed up. Okay, so if we were to look at the mark scheme for feedback, um, satisfactory would be feedback was articulated and some changes have been made with partial success. Um, so I think they, they kind of misunderstood some of the feedback, but the, the stuff about the power-ups is, I think that's fair enough, and I think they have addressed that, actually. Yeah, I, yeah they've definitely um, made sure that, like, particularly the temporary nature of it is very clear. Yeah, and I, so I like that. They, they improve the information design. It is much clearer what they are. So I, 
So I kind of feel that that, that they've done quite well at. Um, and they may have missed uh, a little bit of what the nuance what was being said elsewhere, but they, you know, they've. Um, I said, give, like, given how that, that, what they understood by performance, they like they made a yeah. sensible change as far as that's concerned. But yeah, un- yeah. unfortunately, yeah, the sort of playability of some of the later levels they haven't quite managed to address. So, so I think that probably that probably gives them a satisfactory for um, for for feedback. You know, they've they've articulated feedback and they've implemented some changes. Yeah, I think that's bang on. Okay, so that's the last game in this batch. Um, so we'll see you again for another video.